Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high-value hi-fi, home theater, and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking about the Project E1. It's a new turntable from Project. Are they going after U-Turn and Fluence for the affordable turntable market? I don't know. Grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about the Project E1. very exciting we have a new turntable from project the e1 it's an affordable to hey how's it going well i'm hank hank follicle hank follicle i'm sure you've heard of me it's probably intimidating to meet me in person actually no i've never heard of you i don't believe you okay um how did you get in my house the front door well, it's locked. Oh, not for me, it's not. You know, when you have a beautiful mane like mine, the world just greets you with a smile. You walk up to doors, they just open up. Literally. Opportunities, everything. Hair? Oh, oh, hair stuff. Hair stuff? Andy, I used to be just like you. How's that? Well, I used to be a middle-aged man with thinning hair dealing in buffoonery, just like you. Okay, ouch. How did you change, Hank? Well, I contacted Keeps, Keeps.com, and they helped me, Andy. Because you had thinning hair? Because I had thinning hair, like you. And a doctor customized a treatment just for you? That's right, a, a real hair doctor customized a treatment just for me. You know, if I walked into a, a hair clinic right now, they'd probably think I was a doctor. But you're not. It could be. But you're not, you're just a guy. I'm a guy that got some keeps and used it. And you can use code CHEAPAUDIOMAN to save 50% off your first order. So did that regrow your hair or just let you keep the stuff that you had. I can't guarantee it's gonna grow back your lifeless hair follicles, but look at me, I'm Hank Follicle. Do it. Do what? Stop being incredibly depressed because of your thinning hair. Be like me. I don't wanna be like you, and I'm not dangerously depressed. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Andy, 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 stop. Just go to keeps.com slash cheap audio man. You'll get 50% off your first order. You're gonna talk to real doctors who will make a real treatment plan for you individually. And you can do it in your house, even though this is a horrible house. What? Keeps.com. Stop being depressed. All right, I brought this up so you can see it better. This is not the felt mat that comes with it, okay? It comes with a different mat. The E1 comes in three different configurations. One is just a turntable, no phono preamp. Then there is one that comes with a phono preamp. And then there is one that comes with Bluetooth. So depending upon which one you want, well, it changes the price. The one without anything, just a turntable, no phono preamp, 350. The one with a phono preamp comes in at 400 and I think Bluetooth comes in at 450. Comes in three different colors. White, black, and what is this one called? And walnut. This one's in white. Just kidding. The E stands for elephant. Evolution. Endoscopy. Everyone. Actually, I think it stands for everyone, which is Project's affordable turntable. So they are taking on U-Turn, Fluence, and I don't know if Riga has an affordable turntable or not, but similarly priced offerings from U-Turn and Fluence come in around the same price. The E1 is no phono preamp, no nothing. The E1 Phono comes with a phono preamp. The E1 Phono BT comes with a phono preamp and Bluetooth. So to get this baby up and running, it doesn't take long at all. I pulled it out of the box, set it up, plugged it in, put on a record, turned it on, and guess what? It worked. Everything comes from the factory pre-aligned, pre-balanced. So the only thing you have to do is put a record on it, drop the needle, turn it on, plug it in, and then you have sweet music. This comes with two speeds, one for 33, one for 45. And it's right here on the side. You don't have to switch pulleys with a belt or anything like that. It is belt driven, but it's underneath the platter. The sub platter is where the belt is at. And then the one that I have has a phono preamp on the back. There is a switch. So you can either 
well, use the phono preamp in it, or if you have a phono preamp in your integrated amplifier or an external one, you can use that one and defeat the internal phono preamp. I had everything hooked up to this. It's the Yamaha AS801. Beautiful amp. It has an integrated phono preamp. So I tested the phono preamp inside the Project E1 Phono against the phono preamp inside the Yamaha. And I was actually pretty surprised. Okay, the platter. The platter, and I've never seen this before, the platter is plastic, ABS, whatever you want to call it. This one has a little bit of a plastic thing right here. So this is what it looks like. Never seen a plastic platter before. I don't know how I really feel about it. On one hand, I feel, it feels okay. I don't like the finish though. I wish it wasn't super shiny because it actually makes it look probably cheaper than it is. I can't bend it. I mean, if I really cranked on it, I might be able to bend it. So I didn't know how I felt about it. And I was talking to one of my patrons about it. At the same time, I feel like obviously this is probably cheaper to produce than other platter materials. But here's the thing. I think there's actually a huge advantage to this. And I'll tell you the reason why, or I'll let you hear the reason why. Now, let's do the same thing to the platter off of my Fluence. A little bit of a difference in the resonation, resonance. Um, does that make a big difference? It could. I know the reason why some people use acrylic platters and glass platters and things like that is because they don't resonate. The Fluence is a bit heavier, but this is not like insignificant. If you hit somebody in the head, like if you did a frisbee, heads up, and then you threw this at your wife and hit her, she's not gonna be happy. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. All right, so up here, you might be able to see this. This is where the belt goes around, okay? So this is the sub platter. The whole thing goes right here, and then here's the little motor in there. Not super heavy. So I think this comes in at three and a half kilograms, just north of seven pounds. I did find, even when I was trying to close the dust cover, that this whole thing moved around a little bit. Not the heaviest turntable available. So just be aware, if you get one of these, take care of not shoving it off the top of your stereo rack. I'm not saying it's a huge problem. A U-turn, similarly specced out U-turn, weighs about five pounds more. Whether or not that makes any sonic difference, I don't know, but it's not a heavy turntable. So this comes with a lever, stock lever out of the box, aluminum tone arm, and then an OM5E cartridge pre-installed, as I said before. It's a good cartridge. Frankly, I actually prefer the sound of the OM5E from Ortofon over the 2M Red from Ortofon, which is quite a bit more expensive, almost double the price. I think the OM5E is more balanced. I think the Red is can be really forward in the upper mid-range. I really enjoyed the sound from the OM5E, and frankly, that's kind of the, well, that's the cartridge that I would recommend to anybody starting out. I think you really have to step up above the OM5E to probably the Ortofon 2M Blue to hear like a big difference, because the Blue and the OM5E are both what I would consider to be neutral cartridges. You get like that Nagaoka MP110, a little bit fuller, more rich on the bottom. I think the OM5E is a very neutral, balanced cartridge. Not just good for beginners, I think it's good for anybody, really. And then the tone arm terminates in a fixed head shell. You can change out the cartridge. Bear in mind, though, it is not going to be as easy as some turntables that have a removable head shell. Those would be Fluence. I think the new Mono Price offerings have removable head shells. This one does not. Tone arm is pre-balanced out of the box for the OM5E. If you ever do need to change cartridges, though, there's just a little hex screw up here, and then you'll move the counterweight forward or aft. Most of the time, my experience with integrated phono preamps in a turntable is less than stellar. I rarely find that they sound better than even a modest phono stage in an integrated amp or anything like that. Initially, I hooked it up to the Yamaha AS801 and sounded good, sounded great. So then I tried the integrated phono preamp inside the Project E1 phono. Surprisingly, it sounded better, more dynamic, richer even. And I had to, I had to double check just to make sure because I've always been underwhelmed by integrated phono preamps. In this case though, 
I think the Phono Pre that's built into the project is better than the Phono Pre amp that's built into the Yamaha. When I say better, I mean it's more to my taste. I like the sound of the Phono preamp that's installed on the project over the one that's in the Yamaha. Shocked! I know. There's some value there. There's some big value because most of the time, even if a turntable has an integrated phono preamp, I'm still budgeting and planning on buying an external phono preamp unless it's a really high end integrated amp, which this is. This is a $900 integrated amplifier. Maybe it measures better on the Yamaha, but to my ear and to my enjoyment, I like the one installed here. So kudos project. Your integrated phono preamp sounds awesome. Competition, actually pretty fierce at this price level. U-Turn and Fluence are the two kind of de facto recommendations I have for turntables. If I spec out a similarly performing turntable from the fact that it has the same cartridge, has a Q -le lever, lever. From U-Turn it comes in at $284, $65 cheaper than this one, maybe 66. The one difference, the one big difference though, is that on the U-Turn, if you wanna change speeds, you have to change the belt on the pulley. If you only listen to 33s though, then you don't have to worry about that. I guess the wind would go to the project because it has the two speed variable motor that you just switch. So you're not moving around belts. And I will say the belt on this one is a lot thicker than the one that you get on a U-turn. U-turn is almost round, skinnier. This one's flatter, kind of similar to what you get on a Fluence. If one includes a phono preamp in the U-turn, that price now goes to $354. The U-turn is coming at $46 cheaper than a similarly spec'd out project. So Fluence doesn't really have a kind of apples to apples comparison. They do have the RT82, which comes with an Ortofon OM10 cartridge. That comes in at $300. However, there is no included Phono preamp. It does have auto stop. It's got a heavier plinth, has a removable head shell. It's kind of a different style though. If you put the U-Turn and this Project E1 next to each other, they look very similar. If you put a Fluence next to it, well, that's it right back there. Looks a little bit different, thicker. I think the takeaway here is that Project is in the ballpark when it comes to price. With the OM5E, the playing field is somewhat leveled. Which one you get depends on maybe where you live. If you live overseas, probably the project's much easier to get than a U-turn. If you don't want to futz around with moving the belt, then obviously the project is the way to go. I'll say this, I was pretty impressed with the way that this one sounded. Still on the fence about the platter. I actually think in the long run, it's probably better because it's less resonant. The U-turn comes with an MDF platter or you can upgrade it to an acrylic platter. It's extra though, so it's gonna be more expensive. I don't know if you can upgrade this platter. So I don't know how far you can take the E1 as far as upgrades go. As it is, I think it's good. I think it might be slightly overpriced. I think if they came in, with the E1 straight, no phono preamp at 300, this one at 350 instead of 400, then I think people are really gonna be struggling to make a decision between a U-turn and a project. They're still in the ballpark. I still think they're slightly overpriced. Even if they dropped at $25, that's fine. So it begs the question, is this one a little bit more expensive because it's traditionally distributed through dealers? Whereas Fluence, U-Turn, they're both direct to customer. But then you have to ask yourself, Project, you know, they have economies of scale. They're making tons of turntables and they're making them in their own factories. U-Turn does make them in Massachusetts. Fluence, I think, are built and shipped in. So I don't think Fluence has their own factory. It's a conundrum, but it's a good conundrum to have because now the customer has three really solid choices when it comes to an entry level turntable. They all have some positives, they all have a few negatives, but we, as the customer, we win. I'd like to know if they have a, a different platter though. I don't know what it is about this platter. I think it's the shiny plastic. If it was matte plastic, I don't think I would have any issue with it, but I'm splitting hairs here. This is just my opinion. The cool thing is though, you can buy this, hook it up to your stereo. It's going to take you longer to unbox it than it will to start listening to vinyl. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms and a patron only Discord and a patron only Facebook group. And we do patron only giveaways. You can also sign up for Amazon 
Amazon Music or Tidal Music. Links in the description. Click on the link. Sign up. Even if it's for a trial, I get a couple of dollars. You can also use the affiliate links. I don't know if I have an affiliate link for this turntable because it's not available at Crutchfield. I do have affiliates with Crutchfield. But most of the other links in the description are going to be affiliate links, which means if you click and buy, I do get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more, though. So it's a good way to support the channel. You can also use the thanks button down at the bottom of the video next to the share button. There's a thanks. You can give me a dollar or two if you want, if you got any value out of this video. But don't feel compelled to give me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge it. Listen. Maybe through your new project, E1, E1 Phono, or E1BT, fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Mm -hmm.